I just wanted to make it easy for myself to put something right in the center of the canvas. Like it had two eyes and nose and mouth and arms and feet. I uh, had a lot of mug cuts out of magazines. And I noticed that when I had something, a photographic image like this, the mouth, it gave me a point of reference. It was something to hold on to. But he'd just cut it out of a newspaper ad, be kind to your T-zone, or maybe it was camel. It was, a, it was a, a woman's mouth. And that was the area around which that was sort of the, let's say, it was the eye of the hurricane. I pasted it on, and it gave me, it was a shock. Then I knew where I had to go, more or less. And uh, I also felt everything ought to have a mouth. I mean, I think it was very funny. But I think a mouth is a very funny thing, yes. Because you do everything with it. But your ears are only here, your eyes are only, You don't put some spinach in your eye, for instance. I mean, my, and a mouth is a very strange thing to me. And then, of course, a woman's mouth is very appealing. It is interesting, though, that I could only do it with a woman. I couldn't do it with a man, like the Japanese. They make those monsters growling, you know what I mean? I guess it's because I'm not a woman. No, I began with the woman because it's like a tradition. It's like the Venus. It's like uh, Olympia, like Manet made that Olympia. If you take a brush and pick up some paints, make somebody's nose out of it, it's, it's kind of absurd, but not doing it is just as absurd. <laughs>